What's up gamers? GamerDad here, back for another item shop review. It is Friday, October 18th, just past 8 p.m. and we have an item shop refresh. Want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks so much for your support and without further ado, let's get the review. So we're going to start down at the bottom in the special offers and bundles. First up, we've got this Ghoul Punk Pack. It is $23.99 Canadian, which is pretty expensive, in my opinion at least. We've got the Rotten Penny outfit, so this could be cool if you're a fan of the Penny outfit. Now you can have like a Halloween version of it. Here's the Lego style. It's not too bad looking. You also get the casket case back bling and the Z head pickaxe. You also get access to save the world, a certain game mode of Fortnite. So keep that in mind. And then there's a ghoul punk challenge pack. So by the way, the challenge pack is only good in save the world. Okay. So you can earn up to 1500 V bucks doing save the world daily quest. Do not get it twisted here. You cannot earn those V-Bucks by doing challenges in Battle Royale, so please do keep that in mind. And you have to actually complete some home-based Storm Shield Defense 3 mission in that campaign prior to even unlocking the challenges. So just keep that in mind as you go for this one. We also have the Final Reckoning Pack. It is $22.49 Canadian. It includes the Katrina outfit you see here. Then we have the Lego Style. And we've got Willow up next. Nice and creepy looking Willow there, especially that one. Then we have the Lego style, of course. It's got a little bit of a letdown, but I guess it's okay. Here's the black light outfit. Two different styles. And then we have the Lego style here. We've also got the morning glory back bling, the dolly back bling. And finally, the indigo wings back bling. That took me a while to get on that item. So there's two different styles. 2249 Canadian, not doing it for me. Definitely too rich uh, for the items that you're getting, in my opinion. But hey, if you really like them, it could be for you. Let's head up to the very top of the shop, by the way. We've got the Disney villains in the item shop this evening. This could be exciting for some. A little bit pricey at 3,800 V-Bucks, though, but you do get the Captain Hook outfit. Clearly looks very true to the original outfit style. You've got this Lego style, and that Lego literally looks identical to the Captain Hook Lego. Then we have the Maleficent Fortnite uh, outfit here. Just the one style. The Lego style for Maleficent looks great. And of course we have Cruella DeVille from the 101 Dalmatians. There is the Lego style. And then we have the Hooks flag back bling. Captain's foil pickaxe. We've got the Maleficent's Raven back bling. Then we've got the Maleficent's Scepter pickaxe. We've also got the Hot Handbag. And the Deville's Grill pickaxe and the TikTok emote. So, again, 3,800 V Bucks, pretty pricey, but you can pick up the outfits with their respective gear on their own for close to, you know, 1,800 and 2,000 V Bucks. Now, in the creepy outfits category, here's Jack Gordon. You've got a Gordon Black and this Jack Golden option. The Lego style is looking pretty good. A little bit pricey, though, at 1,500 V Bucks. Here is Hollowhead. Another pumpkin head style here. You've just got the one style. The Lego style is pretty darn spot on. And then we have the Moldering Cloak Back Bling for 1500 V-Bucks. Next up is Patch Patroller. Nothing to this one. Lego outfit looks true to the original outfit. It's 800 V-Bucks. Here's the Carver Pickaxe for 800 V-Bucks. We've still got those football slash soccer zombie zombified outfits there. We have Lexa Hexbringer. Tief, Grizabel, Gummy Fishstick, and Ravina are still here. Of course, Mephisto, Edward Scissorhands, Pumpkin King, and Sally, as well as Jack Skellington are still kicking it here. Got that uh, Halloween Lego gear there as well. We still have Moon Knight and Blade. We got these four Icon Series emotes that came out the other evening, or that were brought back, I should say. Here's the Pumpernickel emote. This is a refreshed item. It is 500 V-Bucks. We've also got the Raise the Roof emote, nice and cheap at 200 V-Bucks. And then next is Storm Racer. I think Storm Racer is actually a really cool outfit. You've got four different styles here, that green, purple, and yellow option. The Lego styles looks bang on, and it's 1,200 V-Bucks. Here's Pit Stop, a female version of the same outfit. Green, purple, and yellow options. And the Lego style similarly looks pretty good at 1,200 V-Bucks for those items. Then we have a Arctic Assassin. Clean looking outfit, pretty simple. Lego style looks decent, it's 1200 V-Bucks. Here's the Icebreaker pickaxe for 500 V-Bucks. And we have the Billy Bounce emote. 
for 500 bucks as well as the guild outfit guild is a pretty good deal you got this winter hunter option here the lego style looks spot on and best of all nice and cheap at 800 v bucks below this we've got that carolina outfit no brand new jam tracks this evening we do have the same festival gear we've got the endo the marvel mclaren we've got the same wheels and boosts and that would be it for this evening so my favorite items Nothing in the packs part is really doing it for me, so I'm not really going to get too excited about anything down there. Um, I'd probably have to go with Guild as one of my favorites. And I, while I think the Disney stuff is kind of cool, and I think it will really appeal to some people, um, I will not be one of those, therefore I will not be picking it up. But otherwise, I'd go with one of those racing outfits. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item is. Let me never pick it up at anything from the shop tonight. Please drop a like in the video if you're watching and you haven't done so. Please do hit that subscribe button and show me that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad. All one word, all capital letters. Have a great evening. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.